Geico is a company where I've been able to encounter people with so many different stories and backgrounds. People that I, I don't think I would have been able to meet in any other circumstances. It makes me feel like I am a part of something that's bigger than just me. I think I tell this story not just to tell a story, but also to learn those of other people. I grew up in Staten Island, New York in, uh, in I would say the 90s, I was born in 88, near the city but far removed enough that you know you, uh, you still were able to have kind of like a backyard and a dog. And When we were growing up, um, you know, I would say like we felt just like all the other kids, like, it was a pretty normal childhood growing up. What we didn't know um, was that actually both my parents had been undocumented when they first came to the United States. I think my parents did um, everything they could to, to insulate us from knowing about this problem growing up, not teaching us Spanish when we were kids and keeping us out of the loop of, of things that we should have known about our, our cultural background and our ethnic background that we didn't grow up knowing about. And I know it was to, I guess, protect us from it. I know my father, at the time, I think when he was growing up, it was a little bit dangerous to be outspoken about human rights. and. He had known other friends that had been killed and people that had uh, disappeared just for, for talking about the same types of things that he cared about. Coming to the U.S. gave him a safe place where I think he could explore that. My mother followed after him because she loved him so much and knew that uh, she couldn't experience any other life without him. My father was able to get his residency cleared up when um, you know he was younger, I, I think before my brother and I were even born. Uh, but my mother had other issues, and they knew it was going to be a problem from the beginning. And she would have to fly back to Colombia and, and uh, meet at the, the embassy in Bogota in order to resolve the problem. We flew out there in uh, Christmas of 1998. And I remember the woman at the window, uh, you know, she reviewed it all and uh, refused to certify it and told us that we had to get more, more paperwork, that that wasn't the correct form. And it turned out that none of this was true, but um, after that, I mean, there was no way that our father could afford to bring us back to New York City, uh, pay for daycare and childcare while also running back between lawyers and meetings and trying to get my mom basically back home. So uh, my brother and I ended up staying in Colombia for uh, close to a year. Colombia is geographically and artistically one of the most beautiful places that I've ever seen in my life. But at the time, Colombia was still going through an active civil war. And uh, there were ways in which you would encounter that violence, sometimes randomly. I didn't have a really powerful knowledge of the Spanish language growing up. And when I was there, I had to learn it very quickly. Our mother stressed it extremely to us that we, we should never speak English anywhere we went. So yeah, I mean, there was a, a paranoia about it. I mean, we had to be silent. My father worked tirelessly to get us back. I mean, my dad worked five different jobs, constantly going back and forth from the lawyer in Queens. It took uh, about 10 months for us to, to get everything set up where we could have the final appointment that we had. I, I can't describe what it was like to, to finally go there and have everything resolved. Embrace life for all that it can give you because it is beautiful and it's also a little bit scary at the same time, but it's through opening yourself up to those things that you're able to learn more and, and progress. And I think it was that, that attitude that brought me through the adventure that was my adolescence and my young adulthood and that ultimately brought me to Geico. There's a lot of people here that have fascinating backgrounds, people from foreign countries that have really interesting stories. It is our collective stories that, that make us who we are, that make us part of a family that has been through a lot and can achieve so much more together.